In this video, we're going to talk about Morpheus, which is trying to build decentralized open source AI, and on top of that, have a peer to peer network for generative AI, which is permissionless and open source. So, we're going to go through the website and uh, some of the details in this video, especially, we're going to go through the details uh, about the fair launch that they're trying to do right now. There are a couple of steps uh, that you can engage when it comes to Morpheus. Basically, uh, the first phase already started. Uh, this is the phase where you actually commit capital. So you commit uh, staked if uh, Steve to gain some Morpheus tokens, more tokens, um, and you'll be able to claim them in May. So that's the first part. But you can also uh, join as a coder, uh, as a computing platform and as a part of community. So things like uh, writing about Morpheus, uh, doing videos and so on will also be rewarded to a certain extent. Now, let's go through the platform and also uh, let's uh, have a look at what they stand for. First of all, so as I've mentioned, the fair launch begin on uh, February 8th, 2024. Uh, now tokens start accruing from this time, but aren't transferable for 90 days. The, the network itself is not yet live. And of course, be careful, there is no airdrop, no token sale, no NFT. You only have the uh, dashboard. If you go to the dashboard, you'll be basically be able to see uh, that platform and deposit Steve. Um, also, this is the current daily rewards. So that's the, the first thing. Now, uh, apart from that, uh, they have quite a long summary of what they're doing. If you click on about, and we're going to go through that here. Also, there are extensive docs that are being developed with different guides for developers, for uh, node operators, and so on. So if you want to get uh, really into the Morpheus, that's the way to go. So you have the yellow paper, you can read that. Uh, but basically, uh, Morpheus is designed to incentivize the first peer-to-peer -peer network of personal general purpose AIs that can execute smart contracts uh, on behalf of a user known as smart agents. So basically they want to provide you with generative AI that can run for you the code. That's my understanding of what Morpheus is doing. So uh, if you know ChatGPT, imagine ChatGPT connected to any kind of blockchain and being able to do anything for you and you just write uh, in natural language whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. And this is what they're trying to build with smart agents. So taking uh, smart contracts to the next level. Uh, so finally, average user can talk with the smart agent, normal language, and understand the question and take an action based on that, uh, based and of course, after uh, approval. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Of course, they're trying to use the, the huge momentum that LLMs, large language models, are the new interface, and this is cool about the Morpheus. This is exactly the step where I think AI merges with crypto, meaning that AI can be used to decipher a lot of smart contracts and then make everything much easier. So you will have a much better user experience, user interface for uh, navigating blockchains, for understanding also what's happening, and probably also uh, deploying, uh, deploying your own smart contracts on the blockchain if you want to. Uh, so this is about the also open infrastructure. So uh, it's also all, all about computing. Uh, you'll be able to contribute as a, a, as a node operator uh, with your compute power for others to use. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there will be different network resources as well uh, and everything will be decentralized. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they have pretty nice context and history, but basically talking about the stuff that uh, there's this huge fight right now between closed models, open AI, Microsoft and Google, and then open source models uh, like Llama, Falcon, uh, Mistral, and a bunch of others that are trying to do open source work in the context of large language models. Uh, and they want to enter here uh, with Morpheus providing different APIs and decentralized cloud infrastructure. Uh, also, I imagine uh, decentralized uh, hardware for training models at some point. Uh, so that's all pretty cool. Uh, they also all about um, fair launch so basically everything is rewarded to either community to the capital to the compute power to the coders and far four percent is for the protection funds so the project is pretty decentralized from the get-go there's no like a one uh, single team there are many people that are trying to build that uh, and it's pretty cool right now uh, so this is uh, where it started you can have a look at uh, the block rewards uh, the block rewards will start at 14,400 more per day and then decline by 2.468 uh, 
uh, nine more each day until the reward reaches zero on day uh, 5,800. By that time, 18 years from now, Morpheus probably will be in white use. That's the goal at the least. And uh, this will be enough to get the, uh, the network going. So total supply is 40 million uh, for the more token, uh, 14,000 per day, and then uh, it's distributed evenly uh, for the token. The tokens are going 3,400 tokens uh, are going for the compute, proof of transactions, then proof of uh, proof of code, so committed, and merge into Morpheus uh, repo, and then proof of capital, uh, so proof of Steve, the yield that you contributed, uh, and finally uh, five. Uh, 3,400 is going to the community. So proof of building front-end applications and tools that engage users uh, and everything around the community as well. So this is pretty cool. Uh, th those are different buckets that the more tokens are going into. Uh, and here's the utility. The utility is basically um, uh, accounting mechanism to calculate rewards, uh, but also that will be probably used uh, within the network uh, and that's really, really cool. Uh, so you can see how uh, as more gets more, more um, uh, wider circulation, uh, how it will be used here uh, in the near term, mid term and long term. Uh, and where is the goal? So you can also see how much will be emitted within the next years. Uh, the first year will be 5 million more tokens. And then uh, year 16 is the total supply of 42 million. Uh, and basically the increase uh, in the number of tokens uh, year over year. So I guess the biggest increase here uh, relatively to the size, of course, because that's linear, but uh, in the first couple of years, of course, uh, and then it's getting slower and slower. Uh, so we have this tail, uh, tail emissions of more that's similar to Bitcoin halving uh, basically here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, this is how the, the more token is going to do. Now we have those three proof of community, proof of code, proof of compute, proof of capital that are trying to provide decentralization. Uh, and you will have a couple of these validators here in each category. Uh, and this is really, really cool stuff. Um, uh, the basically uh, techno capital machine that's the, in the honor of uh, EAC, effective acceleration, uh, accelerationism philosopher Bev Jesus that was created for the TCM and you can read more, more about that. Uh, if you didn't know, Bev Jesus is uh, of course the anagram of Jeff Bezos, but uh, he's a pretty uh, well-known guy in the tech circles, building his own startup, but also uh, being all about this uh, effective accelerationism which is trying to uh, give you uh, have this optimistic outlook when it comes to technology so the faster technology advances the more it brings benefits to the humanity and Morpheus is created uh, with that respect as well we want to make AI on the blockchain as fast as possible because this will be good for the for all the users that are within the community as well uh, so there are a couple of things here that you can do to, to take part in, of course, taking Eve, but also join the Discord, provide value, talk about the project uh, and do many other stuff uh, that will bring value in the long run. Of course, uh, don't try to spam, don't try to do like uh, less meaningful stuff because especially the, the recent case of other blockchains showed that that's not the best way to proceed if you want to engage. Uh, but just try to understand and provide value about uh, the particular project. Uh, so this is the this is the mechanics of the workflow, uh, users, providers, and routers uh, creating uh, more public keys and how they operate, uh, how you have this router uh, and how users can query that. Uh, then compute uh, bootstrapping incentive, uh, we'll be going down with that. Uh, so this is the diagram uh, and the place to how you can basically uh, work with Morpheus, how you can uh, connect and interact with it. So contributing uh, Steve, earning more, registering, uh, selling more, of course, on different uh, DEXs, and then uh, supplying code or trying to uh, use the existing code to do something on the blockchain, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, the depositing Steve for rewards will be made on the Ethereum mainnet when Morpheus tokens will be awarded on Ethereum layer to Arbitrum for the purpose of payments and other more utility related actions. Uh, so that's important. Uh, but basically you need to just have an Ethereum wallet to get started here. Uh, so there are different fees uh, being set. Uh, 
So we're going to go for that. Uh, storage for persistent and wallets for recovery. Uh, I'm going to go also through that. Uh, and basically there's an article about user data security. Uh, the way they work, the, the, the way they, they work is they're trying to provide uh, pretty cool like, en encryption for uh, large language models so that your data won't be leaked. Uh, and this is important because uh, your data will be probably computed in a decentralized way. They don't want to use uh, like uh, AWS or Google and the cloud or so on. Uh, but if you decentralized everything, then your data will be available in a peer-to-peer -peer network. So in order to not have that, uh, you need to encrypt that. And this is what they're doing with the fully holomorphic encryption here, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can read more about that as well, how they encrypt everything here. Uh, so this is uh, this is it when it comes to the more description uh, and the final words are we are close to an important moment in history with Morpheus everyone will have a powerful personal AI capable of thinking with them and taking action to benefit them in the same way the personal computer and the search engine empowered the individual will have the same opportunity with personal AIs today the smart agent protocol brings together the right mix of capabilities with LLMs agents and web free Morpheus extends those capabilities into a public network capable of accelerating the mass distribution and usage of smart agents. So this is pretty cool. And this is how it all started. Uh, so if you want to read more, of course, all the links will be down below in the description. Uh, you can also follow uh, the Morpheus project on Twitter and Discord. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.